All right, viewers. Um, so this is actually the uh, follow-up math. Me and uh, Edward had to talk about some things off camera real quick. And talk and about all. bitches. Yeah. Um. Anywho, uh, I'm fucking leading our team in kills and stuff. Um. No, we're not. We're dying miserably. Don't let them. Yeah. Don't lie to them. I'm not. Maybe. <laughs> well, who knows? Words. Words elude me right now, man. Fuck are all these enemies? I want to know. Leave B alone! This is my playground! I can't leave B. It's like anytime I'm, I'm wanting to make any move to actually leave B, these guys just keep fucking popping up, man. They're like that zombie guy, man. What the hell? So I'm just on this fucking flamethrower spree just here at B. It's starting to piss me off. I want to leave. Nope. Okay. I'll come join you. Maybe we can get these people out of our house. I'm headed towards... I'm headed towards C now. And looks like there's some fucking snipers already shooting down this way. A little bit, so you might want to... Uh... Yeah, yeah, you're headed right exactly. way. Oh, you cover along the way. <sighs> Here come we on. go. Having the world's tower. hardest time just getting over a, a tiny little slab we of rock. Shit. Oh, but um, so, uh, Edward did bring up a uh, very interesting question um, off camera, though, which is would I be alright fucking a girl that was once a guy? If you genuinely could not tell the difference, because the baboo is the baboo. I guess, like, if I didn't know beforehand, then yeah, you know, I'd be fine. But, like, let's say, for instance, oh my god, damn it, I just got done in. Because, um, I mean, say... re in reality, re reality, we're all humans. The yes. only difference between a man and a woman is a single chromosome. You know? That That's it. Yes, do. What's what's so what's so different about being with somebody that has a Y chromosome but now has a vagina? Uh, well, I let's mean, say for like instance, girl, if I wanted like a kid, girl, talks well, like a girl, so my my eyes is a girl. Well, let's just say if I did want a kid, though, that would probably be like the biggest thing that would stop me. I don't want kids, who? so who I am actually kids? kind of. So, so oh, yeah, who wants kids? <laughs> this comes from a guy that's married. That's great. Yeah, but I don't want kids either. So yeah. <laughs> ah, damn it! I should have known that guy was gonna look at me. Oh, I, I, I sure as hell don't want any fucking. I mean, and honestly, like, what's so wrong in like adoption? You know. I know, right? It's, it's, and realistically, like, let's face it, the only reason that marriage was even invented as a concept is so people could have kids, call them their own, and maintain quote-unquote blood between people, you know, yeah. or families. That's it. Marriage nowadays, people do it because of two things. They do it for tax reasons and to kind of perpetuate this fantasy that, oh, you become married, you're, you're two people. Like, no, no. We're, we're, when you break it down, we're monkeys. That's what we are. We're apes. Apes? Not, not, you know, what do you call it? We're not monogamous. At all. And there have been many studies, psychological, anthropological, sociological studies, showing that we just are not programmed to be in single relationships for a very long time. It's just kind of accepted in our society to stay with one person. But... Back in the day, people just went around. Look at the ancient Greeks. They went around fucking everything that had legs. <laughs> Matter of fact, one of their fucking gods, Zeus, literally did that shit, man. He fucking he fucked sheep and around. everything. He fucked his, yeah, he fucked his sister. He fucked horses. How do you think centaurs came to be? Yeah. And that shit was okay. Oh, God, Edward, you're being... Hate... Oh. Yeah, I know. No, I'm distracted because I'm talking, I'm ranting yeah. about marriage and how I think it's a bullshit and it's just, it's an industry is what it is. Okay, well, and... I mean, if, if you want to go to that link, though, then the question arises, why did you get married? I didn't, actually. We're just common law marriage. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, we're married. Yeah. How long have you and Allison actually been together? How long have we been together, babe? Like, we've, we've been off. We, we were off and on for like three years. And then we kind of sealed or tied the knot. Been together for like three now? Three, four, five years? We've been together for a long time. Yeah. I got you, Edward! Or, never mind. Yay! Oh shit, ow! Nope, you got me. Thank you. Get out of that building. Did you get him? No. No. I think he's still in that building. Shit. You want him to throw grenades in there, be careful. Yep. God damn. Where's your body? Where the fuck is your body? It's gone. Where's my body? Need somebody to love. Don't you need somebody to love? But yeah. no, you, you know me, Cat. Like, I have a very cynical. And you know, I, I, I would also. I would also say, to maybe a degree, a little bit of nihilism in there as well. Oh yeah, Which makes sure. us, like, you know, just I mean, such a great friend, because, you know, like, our, our views kind of align a lot. I mean, realistically, there's, like, there's no... There's no point to any of this. There's no real point to, to marriage, there's no real point to... We are all to, insignificant or... specs in this wild, yeah. crazy thing called the universe. It is, and once once people start realizing that, then, then people can get their heads out of their assholes and stop making themselves look like hot shit. Yeah, but people have the tendency, and I'm sorry, uh, viewers. People have the tendency if, to make if themselves any of this a lot is more like important than they you, are. If any of this is offending you, then, well, that's just too bad. Um... <laughs> Uh, like, people do have the tendency to be really short-sighted and don't think long-terms or anything or think about the big picture of things like that either. No. So. People are way too... Especially we as Americans, I've found, because I've talked to other people from different countries, and a lot of the things that they say, their main critique about Americans is like, yeah, they're super nice and happy and everything, but they're just so full of themselves. They think that they're such hot shit, and they don't Damn, think nice. about how their actions regardless how inconsequential they are, oh, will affect yes. their very true. Very, very, very true. Like, um, when I was living out of the country when I was younger and everything, uh, living over in Micronesia, we hated tourists. We fucking hated tourists. Because they had complete disrespect for the places that they were visiting. Yeah, and they, they, they would just, just go in know. and trash the place, and, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is ours. Whatever. Yeah, and they just didn't know. They just didn't know that they were being really disrespectful or anything like that. They are like, what? I, what I do is wrong. And generally, in that kind of situation, if you confront them, then they get all defensive and angry, and it becomes like a whole drama fest, and it's, it's really fucking tiring. And I almost feel like some people just don't even have a fucking conscience. No, they don't. They really don't. It's 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 part of our society. I just knifed the guy off. Like, I, yeah. Wait, America I just knifed the guy great. off of a horse. Nice. Yep. I will tell you this though, Cat. I bet you we could solve the obesity epidemic if more Americans ate humble pie. Ate hey, what? Humble pie. I've never. Oh, humble pie. Okay. I, I thought you were talking about. Did you think it said there for a second? Yeah. It took a moment to click. That's all. Awesome. Uh. Yeah. Histrionics. It's, it's all about the histrionic. That's why I think I would do well in Britain because they're like, ah, fuck you, mate. Whatever, you're not hot shit. <laughs> you're not hot shit either. Whatever, you yeah, histrionics. Dogs giving CPR. <laughs> Dogs can't give CPR, they don't have lips. <laughs> How can you give CPR without lips? Oh my god, he is giving CPR. He's literally stomping on this human's chest. That's amazing. Allison showing me this this video of a dog giving CPR to a human being. That's interesting. Like, how do you teach yeah. a dog to do that? 
Uh, you make. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody had a tongue punch dog a long time right there. Ooh, oh, hell, motherfucker! Did he just take both of us out? That dick. Yeah, and he with took a me pistol out with a fucking pistol. And he too, just took yeah. out that guy too. What the hell? That hacks. That <laughs> hacks. Yep. Well, in my defense, I was gut shotting him. I wasn't doing too well. Yeah, oh. I need to learn that this is not Overwatch, and you gotta go for headshots. Yeah. I mean, even in Overwatch, going for headshots, you know, good. So. Get good. Ah. Thought I had that kill. Here you go, kid. You're in my belly. Wanna get in the car? Uh, where are you at? What car? By the car. Oh, I see you now. Yeah, we need to go take some places. Let's go take B. Yeah. Let's go take B. Oh my god, I'm 22 and 5. Two rounds? Where are you at? Okay. Go, 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 go! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! We got Cypher's looking okay, at okay. us. Shoot! You're gonna just drive around the objective and start shooting baddies? Maybe. I'm gonna start circling around. Fucking, oh god! Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Okay. Fucking shit. I hopped out because that Jeep is super vulnerable. I don't like being in it, and shooting in it is even worse. Oh, you know what? I'm grabbing a light I tank. I just ran though. over someone. Good. I'm grabbing a light tank. Damn. I'm gonna help grab fucking B. Friendly on the train to go. I wanna be the light tank. It's a one seater. Oh man. Do you have like the the look sensitivity up super high, like most other no, uh, people? No, uh, I have my look sensitivity up by about 15 points on the horizontal and on the uh, or uh, up on both um, the ADSing and normal looking up by about 15 points each. Just no good at these types of games. It's just practice, man. Like I, I keep forgetting I, I that you battlefield. lived in Micronesia. Huh? I keep forgetting that you lived in Micronesia. That you're not yeah. you're not a true born American. Oh no, I am true born American. I, I was born here in Mobile, Alabama, man. 
Why you live in my years old? Shop? But no, no, I, I left when I was eight years old, went over to America, Samoa, lived there for two and a half years when I was eight, right? And then yeah. after America, Samoa, we moved over to Pompeii, Micronesia, and we lived there for four years, and I came back here on July 3rd, 2005. Oh, why'd you guys come back? Family. Oh, okay. Yeah, and my mom's contract with uh, Wallace Theaters, which is a international theater company, was up. 